Hi everyone, Laura Ayers with Pampered Chef here. Wanted to show you how to do ribs. So I love ribs. Uh, most people love ribs. And you can do them several different ways. You can do them in the slow cooker. You can do them in a pressure cooker. We're going to do them in the, we have a smoker. And so we're going to actually do them in the smoker. But the key to doing ribs is to remove this membrane that is on the top. It's this really thin membrane here okay so you're gonna pull this up sometimes it comes off easy like this sometimes it does not so don't uh, it just depends on the rack of ribs that you have we're just doing pork ribs and there's a couple different ways you can do them braised braised ribs means that you're gonna have a more closed container and it's gonna kind of marinate in its own juices and into like barbecue sauce and they're gonna be really sloppy uh, good but messy we're gonna do well have ribs ever not been messy I think all ribs are messy but anyway so we're gonna I'm gonna do a dry rub on mine so you remove that membrane and then I cut them into kind of thirds I just put three uh, do three ribs at a time this especially if you're gonna put this in a quick cooker or in your slow cooker because then you can maneuver them so they can fit in the pot easier uh, they won't fit in there if they're all one big rack of course so I do um, three or four and you can see the the bones up so what I'm doing is I'm just going to put them on two sheet pans and then I am going to I've done different seasonings so I have quite a few different seasonings I have a uh, barbecue rub I have onion salt garlic I have all sorts of dry seasonings in here so I'm just giving that a stir and then I am going to cover these with the seasoning. Now I may have to make more, but because you really want them nice and covered with the seasoning. So that's going to give them their flavor, of course. Um, don't skimp um, with a dry rub. So um, a dry rub ends up, it's dry at first, but this will all caramelize and liquefy and it, by the time these are done, they will be absolutely amazing. Now, if you don't have a smoker, that's okay. You can, uh, one of my favorite recipes is a root beer rib, where you take a can of root beer and some pamper chip barbecue seasoning, and you put them all in the quick cooker. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on the smoker, and later this evening, I will post a picture. So that's how you prepare ribs.